Hey everybody, I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing a smartwatch I got on Amazon. It's by the brand name Amatage and it's a Q10. I already unboxed this so this, this, this is not a fresh out the box unboxing. I got the pink color. Okay. So when you get this right out the box, um, sometimes mine had the silicone one on, but um, some people had it when they unboxed theirs, it's just the watch itself. It does not come fully charged. You do have to charge it fully for it to pair with your phone and stuff. So that takes about, for me, it only took about an hour. So what comes in the box is gonna be the extra band super easy to install I'm going to show you how to take it off in a minute and in this little baggie was the pins and in this bag was the band that we have here and this is the charger push this little button here you look for the metal part and then put it in like that plug it into a USB or your computer and you're good to go it also comes with obviously the instruction manual and how to put the band back on you just press on the screen this is a screen server that you're gonna and you have to install by yourself um, with the app so you press it and get up here and you can, if you press, if you press down, let me get back to the main screen. If you hold this down, you can pick different times. I like this one because this is the only one, I don't know how well you can see, it's only, the only one that's going to give you the percentage. And if you swipe to the left, it tells you all your footsteps, calories burned, and kilometers that you walked. Let me see if you can do anything with that. Nope. You can check your heart rate and let me do that for you. It does take a while, so it's smart. This is not like one of the expensive smart watches, so it's gonna take a little while for the for it to catch your heart rate. That's what I recorded it as. Okay. If you swipe up, you can check your messages. I don't want like everyone to see my messages. Okay. And then if you swipe, that's it. So when you swipe, you swipe up, you get messages. You swipe down, you get to your settings. Cool little setting here. Find your phone. Hit find. And there I go. I found my phone. Okay. You can adjust your music. I have not, no music playing. But if I did, you can adjust it that way. Uh, you can see what version this is. You can go to settings, fix the brightness. And whatever. Flashlight. Uh, I'll show you what the flashlight looks like. It's just, that's the flashlight. It's not, not, not crazy. Um, a timer is just a stopwatch, and you can turn it off obviously as well. That's swiping up. Now, when you swipe to the right, you get like I said, you set your heart rate. Let's do a blood pressure. Again, it does take a little while to do. And I will say it is pretty accurate. Could be off by a little bit, but nothing crazy. So it's 111 over 71. I don't know why it's backwards, but that's 
how it is. It tracks your sleep. One thing about the sleep is while you're sleeping, it's not gonna say, you know, oh look, you're sleeping this. It's not gonna tell you nothing until the morning. And I thought something was wrong with it. I took it off in the middle of the night and I said I slept two hours. So and I don't think it's extremely accurate. And then you start to the right, you can say that I started running and it'll track your heart rate and how if you're running and then to the right or to the left, I'm sorry, you hit stop and yes, because not, so you can do running, climbing, walking, riding, I, I put this when I'm riding a bike outside or I'm riding a stationary bike, the screen does time out pretty quickly, so I need to find out if I can fix that. Running, climbing, walking, riding, football, basketball, ping pong, badminton, swimming, yep, you can swim with this. And that is all that it does. So you're gonna download the app called F Fit. And right now it's synchronizing with the phone. I mean with the smartwatch. If you were charging your smartwatch, it will actually tell you the battery life here, not by percentage, just by little bars. So the 75%, so it's missing. You can see there it is missing a little guy. Um I took this many steps today, it tells you what time were you. More, more, most active, your highest and lowest um, heart rate based on like averages um, of when you got the watch, I guess, because I know I wasn't at 116 at all today, but when I do exercise, it gets up there. Last night, I supposedly slept five hours and 57 minutes, and the deep sleep was 28%, and I'm, like, I'm assuming I'm more of a, a light sleeper. I did not put any mo the motion. I'm not sure why. Yeah, this is if I exercise, so I did an exercise today. And it'll show you your heart rate. You can also click that and it can hit start measuring and it'll start measuring right away. You see that? Pretty cool. It'll track both of them at the same time. And it'll tell you if it's healthy, if it's not healthy. I, I'm a pretty healthy person, so I haven't seen anything bad with this. See, I'm good. And it'll tell you that number right there, 72, means good, because if not, it'll be up in the other areas. Okay. And it will tell you before, like, um, what days and whatnot. Now you can click the device and that's where you hit the screensaver. When you hit this, you hit turn on and you can select the image, the color and everything. Um, with that, I did have problems. Um, I put it on like a fast speed. And if I hit, I don't wanna do it because I think it's gonna delete it, so. But make sure you don't put it on the fa fast speed, put it on slow and then it'll work, cause that's what I did. You can have notifications sent to your device. These are all the notifications. Like I said, you can only see them. You can't answer them. You can decline a call. That's about it. You can have your watch remind you to um, move around, drink water, alarms, medications, meetings, things like that. You can have it on do not disturb mode. I have that after a certain time. It tells you what time. I don't know where that's on. But um, <laughs> continuous heart rate monitoring every five minutes. That wastes your battery more. I have it on raise your wrist lift. So when you go like that, it'll come back on. And I have it connected to my Google Fit. Like, and if you cannot find your device, you can hit find device like I just did. Right. Follow my device. You could take a photo. I didn't have never tried that one yet. Um, so it's the more settings, like if you want a 24 hour clock, I am a nursing student and I want to get used to the military time. So that's why I have it that way. And also you can say what, if you were it on your left or your right hand. I don't know if that makes any difference. And that's about it. You can add people, I don't know exactly what that would do. And then you have information, your personal information, how much you weigh, blah, blah, blah. Your target, you want to 
you know, usually they recommend 8,000 steps. You want to sleep eight hours a day, you can change it to whatever you'd like. And now we can change the band. So we're gonna take this off. The only thing I, I like this one is like fancy. Um, my birthday just passed and I wanted to wear it. Um, special occasions and stuff. If you want to be fancy, you can work in an office and you're like a secretary or receptionist. It's pretty cool. So you're gonna flip it over. Actually, you're gonna want to take it off first. Take that part off. Um. So that's just, you know, you bring that that way. There's a little button there, you swing it that way and it comes off. But with this one, the pins come off. Same thing here. The pins come off. So that's why you have to put that back in the bag. I don't want the band that way so that you want these pins to be back here you don't want it showing pinch that one so it can click into there it is easy but I'm trying to look at the camera at the same time slide in so you got one in it clicked in I want the other side in Box in there. Voila! This is like a peachy color, and I thought it was gonna be pink. I, put, this is not, I mean, you have to put this sort of tight, you guys. You can't just put it loose, it's not gonna take your blood pressure and heart rate correctly. If it's not. So just slide it in there, and I feel like this one's so much more comfortable. Enough that you can slide it around your hand and stuff, but it's pretty comfortable to sleep with this band at night. This one kind of pinches your skin and stuff. Don't forget to hide your pins in here or put your pins in here because if not, you're going to lose it. Put them there. Put these back. So I paid $43 for this. I don't know if I mentioned it, but... And I haven't really worked out with it. It's at home, worked out. So I don't know if it really tracks things correctly. This should slide in nicely. There we go. There we go. Be careful when you are buying these because there's, a, there's some that don't come with the extra band. I have to put that in there, but I'm gonna put it in here instead. I did work out like in a, in a stationary bike and it's pretty accurate. So, kind of matched up exactly with what my bike was saying my pulse was and whatnot. The good thing is you can hide everything in here. And then, so you don't need that other band. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more stuff, guys. Bye.